get ready to laugh, probably. Get ready to sit back and go, uh-uh, Patty, you're not doing that. That's not going to work. You didn't do a good job on picking that one out. But this is going to be a fun video. And it's going to be a tag video. And if you're new to YouTube and you don't know what a tag video is, we used to do these all the time where we would come up with a topic for a video and we would tag people or we would tag every single creator in the beauty community and they would do a very similar video. So we haven't had one of, we haven't had a fun tag video in a long, long time, way too long. So that's what this is. And I, and I am hoping that every content creator here on YouTube who sees this video will do it. I think you'll have a ball. I do want to stop and say thank you to all of you who watched last week's video. That video was about my channel and all the things that we accomplished this last year and sort of some things that I'm looking at for this next year. And I know for many of you, you're not interested in that at all. You just like beauty. You just like makeup and skincare and what we do behind the scenes is of no interest to you whatsoever. But I know that for many of you, you do like to know those things. So that's why I do those videos from time to time, knowing that the viewers, you know, it may not attract a lot of viewers, but a lot of you will watch also. So thank you to those of you who did watch it and leave such nice comments. I appreciate it. All right, so this video, you're going to see everything I ordered. I spent right at $15 at the Dollar Tree for everything. I used my own brushes, uh, a couple of Q-tips, and that was it to get this look. Here we go. I have my trusty scissors because I'm going to need them to open all of this. We're going to give it a try. I know for a fact some of it is not going to work simply because I couldn't get the right colors. But I'm going to make it work some way. I actually purchased two foundations because <laughs> normally I wear something in the neutral medium family. And all I could find was the LA Colors and one is in true beige, this one, and this one is in creamy beige. So I'm going to try the creamy beige. Let's see. I may not need the scissors for that. We'll see. All right, here we go. As I said, my skin is all prepped and ready to go. This is a little pump bottle, maybe here. And I tell you what, let's just... You know, we'll see. This might work. It's dark. Normally, if I can't get an exact match on my foundation, I, I'll opt to go a little bit lighter. But this is the lightest they had at my Dollar Tree. So, ooh, I would say the coverage is not there. Try a little bit more. I like a good full foundation or at least one that I can truly build on and I'm pretty sure this is neither of those. Tiny bottle here, it's certainly not going to last. I hope you can see this. This, I have color through here, but almost none here. Okay, that's going to have to do it, at least for right now, on foundation. It could just be 
the light, the way the light is hitting it. I don't know. Okay, but we did that. It's tacky. I like a foundation that will uh, dry down really quick. And this certainly is not. It feels really liquid. I was not able to get anything any lighter, uh, even for a concealer. They did not have a concealer, so I'm just going to have to do without a concealer. I did get this LA Colors New and Improved Contour Stick, and this is in medium. Ooh, and this was the lightest they had in my store. I could have cheated and gone to a different store, but that's not how I intended to do this tag. I'm gonna, yeah, I can't do I don't know, I don't feel good about that, but we, we press on. Okay, I guess we might as well just start the eyes and I'll do, I do have some blush, I think, and some powder, but we'll get to that in a minute. Okay, this is LA Colors and most of what I got is actually LA Colors. And I, again, I have never used any of these products. This is, again, New Look Auto Eyeliner and it is in navy. I don't know. Except for this. Okay. Okay. I'm going to get up close to my mirror. Let's see if I can wear that point down a little bit. This is not transferring onto my tight line at all. Not at all. Hmm. Okay, we're going to stop with that for a minute. Let's just go to the eyeshadows, and we'll come back to that. And the, again, LA Color. This is a little palette that is three, six, nine, twelve pans, and it is glamorous. They had several different selections of eyeshadows, but this one is the closest to what I normally wear. Oops. See those? These are some good colors. Okay. By the way, I just have a selection of brushes that I brought in. Most of these are BK Beauty, Angie Hot and Flashy. All right. Hmm. We're going to have to try something here. Let's look. Hmm. Well, okay. have no idea what this color is, but I'm going to try this. That is basically no color. I'm going to wipe my... I have a towel down here. I'm going to... I'm wiping my brush on, and I'm going to go into this white and just see if I can get some, ooh, a little bit more, a little bit of payoff. Maybe I should have done that first. Listen. I am really rubbing on this to get anything at all. <laughs> Rub 
uh, brush off again. Okay, I think I can't tell if this is a brown or maybe a mauve, mauve color, sort of like my top. I'm just trying to get some color out here in my, oh yeah. Let me know in the comments if you have, if you use any of the makeup from Dollar Tree and if you like it and if you do, what you like. Um, I don't know. Wipe this brush off again. See what we have here. I don't see anything else. If you notice me looking down, I'm looking at a little monitor right there that I can see myself. Hmm. I don't know. Same color. All right. Let's go back to this blue eyeliner and see if there's any way that I can try to tight line again. And I can't. I'm getting, can you see it just a little bit? Right now, that's about the best I can do, I think. We are going to go to mascara. Oh, yeah. And the mascara is by Ioni Dramatic Black Mascara. Ooh, look at that brush. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to see if it'll bend, and it will. get all of that off that I can. It is black. Okay. <laughs> Maybe another coat. You know, so far, uh, the, the main problem with this is that there's just not much coverage or much payoff on anything. Maybe that's why it's $1.25. This is going to take multiple coats. I mean, it's like it's not even there. I'm going to let that dry, and I'm going to come back to it. Brows. Brows, brows. I got the Ioni Perfect Brow Mini Kit. And you can see it has these little waxes here. Uh-oh. I need a brush. I didn't bring one back. I'll be right back. Okay, I got a brush. And I had to get some concealer. I just had to. Okay, I'm going to use, this is just a, I think this is a doll 10 brush. So this is what this looks like. They had a brow pencil, but it was dark brown. So there is wax here. I don't know. Okay, we're just going to go for it. I'm going to 
let me let me do this. Put it on my hand. Ooh. Try this one. Oh. Okay. I think I'll go with this really light. Although it's the darker of the two colors, it's almost like it's more taupey. So I'm gonna I also got this brow gel by Ioni. Let's try that. These were relatively easy to get into. Oops. Did not have to use my scissors. This is just a clear gel. After seeing this, I may not have takers of this tag. We'll see. Do I cheat? or not. I tell you what I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to open this other foundation. And I would rather cheat with that than with a non-Dollar Tree concealer. So let's... This is the... I don't remember what color this was. True Beige. Brush and... Oh, this may work. I mean, this literally has no coverage. I think I said this, but if you like just a little bit of coverage, this may be perfect for you. I don't know. That did nothing. Nothing. What do we have here? Okay, we have powder. Let's do powder and then see if we can do something here and then we will go with the blush. This is Be Pure essentially ageless in the shade of light medium. This was the only thing in the whole store, makeup-wise, that was light, a light color. try the blush. This is the Starry Precious Mineral Blush. It says lightweight, long-lasting, smooth finish. It's not showing up much on my hand, so clean brush and see if we can get some of this off of here. Mm. That had payoff, didn't it? Let's let's go back to this powder. I mean you can see. Can you see the red or the pink on there? It's 
see if we can tone this down a little bit. I'm going in with more mascara. I would say that this is sort of lengthening, but it's certainly not volumizing. Let's see what that said. Dramatic black. I don't think I've ever seen a brush that big. I'm going to try this on my lower lid. A little bit. We're going back to the eyeshadow. Since I, look, there's even a little plastic. Since I have this brush, and we're going to see if we can maybe do some kind of liner. Not much. that. <laughs> Boy, those eyebrows are stiff as boards. Can you hear it? Listen. I think I'm going back to the, oh, maybe, maybe I can do a little I'm going back to this wild blush again. The next thing I bought is, it's just called La Mercier. Matte Finish Setting Spray, formulated with shea butter and argan oil. Wow! A lot comes out and really doesn't have much of a scent to it. And the mist was extremely fine. I may want to save this bottle with sprayer. It's giving me a glow, but I'm a little bit wet from it. Here's what I forgot. I just realized. I know I picked out a lipstick. It was not in my bag. It is not on my list here, my receipt. So, I'm going to go with this blush and I'm gonna take a Q-tip and just see if we can make this work. Maybe I can get a little bit of color here. Try 
try another Q-tip. That may be the best I can do. I have that little speck right there that does not want to come off. Try this mascara one more time. Although this mascara, now you know, now that I have several coats on, is starting to be okay. This doesn't look quite as bad as it did, I don't think. But let's look at this now. I did use two foundations, as you know. One I sort of used as a concealer, under my eyes especially. Might have could have used it right there. I used the eyeliner, the powder, this blush, brows, Brow gel, eyeshadow palette, brow gel, and the contour stick, which, no, I didn't use this. I mean, this did not work. I would go out in public like this. I think it's every bit as good as some things I use. What do you think? I need a little bit more coverage right here on my chin. Let's do this. Oops. Too much. Tune and tweak. Powder, powder, powder. Which brush was I using for powder? I think this one, maybe. Okay, that's it. That's all I'm going to do. I would definitely go out in public like this. It wouldn't be my best look, and it may not be my worst look. About $15 for this face. I would say it's a pretty good thing. I wish I had gotten that lipstick. I wonder, wait, I wonder if I took some of this wax that's in the, the eyebrow kit. Let's see what, I'm, I'm, what I'm doing is I'm getting some on my fingernail. There's not very much in that little, let's see if we can do this. Shiny lips. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. I think if there was a real fail out of all of this, for me, performance-wise, it would be this. I mean, I, I, really, this, I had no use. I thought I would be able to use this as sort of a bronzy, bronzer contour, but no. So, but this navy blue LA Colors auto eyeliner just would not there was no color payoff I couldn't get it any color to come off I did barely on my hand right here as you can see but that was all all right I told you that I was going to tag a couple of people in particular but even though I'm going to tag these two creators I want all of you creators who see this to try this this is this was fun i had a lot of fun in the dollar tree just trying to find colors of products that i thought would work on me that colors that i normally wear and that was just a lot of fun looking through everything and trying to decide all that and i didn't know how this was going to turn out honestly i had no way of knowing and I think those of us who are content creators in this beauty community 
have a lot of fun with makeup and trying new things and trying fun things, and this is very definitely a fun thing for me to do. You know, for those of you who have been around a long time, too, you know that back in the day, there were a lot of tags. There were serious tags, and then there were just fun tags. And for me, this is a fun tag. It is a really fun tag just to see if I could make a dollar and a quarter item work on me in my makeup routine. And I think I have shown for me personally that I can. And so the first person I'm going to tag is Melissa55. And I'm tagging Melissa. Number one, she is so great with her makeup and uses, uh, she's just perfect in makeup application. And, but I know for a fact that Melissa does not ever use drugstore makeup, much less Dollar Tree makeup. Melissa's makeup is high-end. So, Melissa, I want you to do this. Dollar Tree, full face. You can do it, girl. I bet you'll get great results with whatever you buy at the Dollar Tree to do this. So, Melissa, you're tagged. I'm also going to tag Nanny from Nanny and the Moose. Mary Ellen, you know who you are. And I tag all of you who are content creators here on YouTube. Do this. Just do it. And have fun with it. Have, have fun. You know, we get so serious about our makeup and how to do things and what's right and what's not right and all about technique and all of that. So it's fun just to get our fingers in products that many of us in our videos that we do just would rarely use a Dollar Tree product. I know occasionally I have and occasionally many other creators have, but to do a whole face of nothing but and try to make it it was fun. It was fun. And there were times when I was doing this and opening these colors and actually looking at them that I just didn't think there was any way they would work on me. But I think it's okay. Like I said, I would go out. I would go out in public. I do have a Get Ready With Me playlist that I'm going to link at the very end of this video. So if you're new or if you haven't seen very many of my Get Ready With Me's, Go ahead and just click on that and just watch some of the Get Ready With Me's. I, you'll see that I get similar looks to this every other piece of makeup I've used. So you'll get a kick out of that. 